And that's Mongolia Waltz. Magnolia Waltz. I can't read. Okay, but you knew that about me, I would, I would assume. Um, so this is the piece that's going to have a waltz pattern. I was trying to zoom in and talk about that, but I was too busy laughing at myself to figure out what to talk about. That waltz pattern is pretty important because the waltz pattern is going to be used in your left hand, not only in this song, the Mongolian waltz or whatever it is, but every, a lot of waltzes. So we're using the key of C chords. So we've been doing those one, four, or the C and F chord, and the G7 chord a lot. They're just going to break it up in a different way. That's patterned up on top. Okay, so it's just chords just broken up, bottom and the top. So you used to look at your first line, that's pretty much all the first line does, okay? And then when we add the melody in, that's what your left hand does. While your right hand plays the purdy part. So you pretty much learn your whole left hand part if you just learn that waltz pattern up on top. You're welcome. I didn't do it. But anyway. Um, the right hand is just doing a simple pattern up on the C position. Then at 9, it switches to F position. Sort of an F position. Okay? Let me show you page 2. It's going to get a little trickier. We do some of those with the black keys. And our left hand is going to play the G7 and the C chord. One of the things I want you to remember is to keep the top notes short. See how it jumps to treble clef at the last measure? You caught that, of course. And then we have uh, the dies al fine. So the dies, uh, dies al coda this time. The coda, we jump back to measure five. If you noticed on the video, I didn't catch that because it was like the first time I was playing it. And I was like, oh, guys, where's the coda? Okay, got it. So I kind of messed that up. So we go back to there. jump to the coda sign. Okay? So when we get to there the second time through it, we jump to the coda. And that's that whole ending section. Let me show you the ending section. It's a scale. Three crosses over. Okay? So four on B. Just like a regular C scale, just without the C on the top. Okay? And then it goes up an octave and does that same thing. So this last coda is this. Sure, whatever waltz. Take care.